How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to do a talk about my new beard. No, I'm not. So what I'm going to do is an unboxing video of another music box, this time from Near Gestalt, Near Replicant. So it's this music box right here. So this is a Kaine's theme, Salvation. This actually came out some time ago in Japan, but it became quite rare, so I was not unable to get it for a reasonable price. But I realized that Square Enix Europe and the US store ended up putting this, uh, making this available for us. So I picked it up for about £12.50 without shipping, uh, which is quite cheap actually. So in this video, it's going to be a full unboxing and a sound preview of this little thing right here. I've done it of Near Automata as well, and of course of the Kingdom Hearts boxes. So if you haven't seen those, do check that out. If you like what you see, leave a thumbs up, that really helps. But anyway, without further ado, check out the unboxing. So looking at the packaging, this is pretty similar to the Near Automata one, but instead of black, it's in white with grey writing. So it says Near Replicant and Near Gestalt on the front of the box, plain text. Uh, and Kayane Salvation is the theme of this music box with a little bit of flower detailing on the side and on that side a little bit of uh, leaves and then some extra information here because I bought this from the Square Enix European store this actually has some USA and European information on there the Nate Automata one was a Japanese import it didn't have anything but Japanese on there doesn't make a huge difference but just in case you guys want to notice that so let's get this thing open and then I'll show you the actual music box itself and give you a playthrough of it so I've got the wrapper off. So again, this is a plain white music box. So hopefully my fingers are clean and won't get this dirty. I do like the simple and clean nature of this. Uh, I haven't taken the tape off, so I'm going to do that now as well. So it's raining in my room at the moment. So when I do play it, I hope you guys can hear it. But if not, I will also have a separate video that will go through. That would just be the music on its own and it won't be an unboxing. Uh, pretty much what I've done with previous music boxes. So the Nate Automata one and the Kingdom Hearts boxes. So getting this open then, playing on the inside there. We've got a little card note. So this has detailing, graphic detailing that's on the surrounding of the box and then extra bit there. I should probably translate this. Then you get usage instructions, which is pretty much self-explanatory. Don't, don't wind it too much. It's all in Japanese, a little bit of English there. Um, and yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. And then we come to the main meat. So this is the Nair Automata music box. I'm going to put this here with a nice lemony sort of white to me. When I say lemony, I mean like lemon ice lollies or popsicles if you're a US viewer. Um, so it looks very, very nice. Let's get this plastic wrap off. In terms of size though, and general kind of cut and look and shape of this, this is again the same as the Nair Automata one. So just a brief background. So this Salvation theme music box actually came out um, before the Nate Automata one, but I didn't get it. So if you watched that video, uh, the unboxing of the Nate Automata one, I did mention I wasn't able to get this because this was quite expensive and quite rare. But Square Enix European merchandise store um, had this back in stock. Um, they never actually released it in the first place anyway, but they had um, this in stock alongside the Nate Automata one, and I jumped on this straight away. Um, so here it is. It looks very nice. I'm very happy that I got it. By the way, this only cost £12.50, whereas the import for the Nair Automata one cost me at least double that. So yeah, pretty good going. So this is just a plain music box. Like I said, it's the same sort of shape and size as the Nair Automata one. You've got the wind up right there and then the legs, if you want to call them that. So let's give it a wind up, um, see what it sounds like. That's a pretty good preview of that. It tends to loop for a good while. Um, like I said, though, it, I will do a separate video on this, which is just the music. But from what I can hear right now, it's it's a nice theme. The Salvation theme is uh, is, is one of the better themes, actually, from, from uh, near uh, Replicant or Just Out. But actually, a lot of the music is quite good, so it's kind of hard to pick you know, a, a favorite. But this is an, a nice theme to kind of go with. But I'm glad I picked it up. So this pairs well with the Nier Automata Weight of the World music box. Now, if you haven't seen that one, do check that one out. Uh, again, I will do a separate 
video on this with just the music. It'll be about two minutes long, roughly. So do check that out if you just want to keep looping that. Uh, by all means, do that. Um, there's also two new near music boxes coming out. I actually forgot the name off the top of my head, but those are coming out very soon. I believe they're from a new orchestra that happened quite recently in Japan. So I'll put pictures up on that and uh, links to where you can get the new music boxes from. They're probably sold out, by the way. Um, so we look forward to that. If you haven't seen my Kingdom Hearts music box unboxing as well, check that out as well. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Nier Replicant Nier Just Out music box, Kayane Salvation theme. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace out.